so we were discussing about the class full ip addressing so i told you there are five classes we have class a we have class b we have class c class d and we have class e so in case of class a the first bit is fixed that is zero out of complete 32 bits this is from here to here we have total 32 bits the first bit is fixed as zero and the rest total 31 bits are remaining total 31 bits are remaining now in case of class b the first two bits are fixed that is 1 0 and the rest 30 bits can take any combination in case of class c the first three bits are fixed that is 1 1 0 and the rest 29 bits can take any combination in case of class d the first four bits are fixed that is 1 1 1 0 and the rest 28 bits can take any combination and in case of class a the first four bits are fixed and the rest 28 bits can take any combination so from this you can see in case of class a we are going to have a total 2 raised to power 31 ip addresses in class b we are going to have 2 to the power 30 ip addresses in class c we are going to have 2 to the power 29 ip addresses in case of class d we are going to have 2 to the power 28 ip addresses in case of class e we are going to have 2 to the power 28 ip addresses and we use a dotted decimal representation to represent these ip addresses so first of all let us take the class a let us discuss about the class a ip address now in case of class a ip address the complete ip address is divided into two parts that is the network id net id and the host id the host id so the network id is of 8 bits and the remaining bits are used for host id therefore the host id will be of 24 bits in total we have 32 bits In total, we have thirty-two bits. Okay. In all these eight bits, the first bit is fixed as zero. The first bit is fixed as zero, right? So you can say the first bit is fixed as zero in the first octet, and the remaining seven bits can take any combination. and these are the host connected with this so with these seven bits these seven bits actually these are representing the network id that means what network it is right so these seven bits are representing network id therefore there are 128 which is equal to 2 raised to power 7 networks are possible which is 128 and in every network there are we are going to have 2 raised to power 24 hosts what does that mean what do what do i mean when i say network and hosts see we are we can have multiple networks for example this is a network this is your college network right this is a network which is a company network internal company mnc or any company network right this is some personal network and these networks we are going to have multiple hosts which are connected the host can be anything the host can be a laptop it can be a mobile phone it can be a ac which is nowadays acs are also connected using internet it can be uh, the different devices which are connected to internet all these devices are called as host again with these networks within this network we are going to have multiple hosts within this network we are going to have multiple hosts so this is a network this is a network this is a network when i'm saying network id the network id is used to identify the network that means what network it is 
For example, if we have three networks, then we we, we can represent these three networks with two bits only. But here, in case of class A, eight bits are used for network ID, and in all those eight bits, the first bit is already fixed. That is, remaining bits are seven bits, and with these seven bits, we can have two rest power seven different combinations. That means we can have two rest power seven different networks like this. We can have two rest power seven different networks like this. And when we discuss about the host. Host means within this network, how many hosts can be are connected? For example, in your personal home-based system, let us suppose your Wi-Fi is acting as uh, as a connecting device. Then in your system, in, in at your location, maybe your mobile phone is connected to this network, maybe your computer or laptop is connected to this to this to this network, and all these mobile phones and laptops are acting as a host. So within one network, how many hosts are connected? So when I say class A, in case of class A, there can be two to the power seven networks. There is 128, and in every network there can be two to the power 24 hosts, which are kind of practically impossible because we cannot have two to the power 24 24 hosts because this is a very big number, right? It's a very big number. Okay, so it is kind of practically impossible, or uh, so we generally don't use a class A in real world practice. Either it can be military network. Maybe in military network we can have this kind of these many hosts but as as of now this no one is using these many hosts therefore class a ip addresses are kind of you are wasting so many hosts within one network okay so these are connected with some with each other these networks are connected with each other maybe like this 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 greater internet so in case of class a again seven bits we can take any combination We can have two to the power twenty-eight hosts in every host. So two to the power twenty-eight networks in every network there are two to the power twenty-four hosts. Now, when we discuss about the class B IP address, when we discuss about the class B IP address, in case of class B IP address, out of total thirty-two bits, out of total thirty-two bits, sixteen bits can be used for network ID, and Rest 16 bits can be used for host ID. That means we can have two rest power 16 networks, and we can have in every network we can have two rest power 16 hosts. We can have two rest power 16 hosts, which are some uh, somewhere roughly around 64,000. Somewhere roughly around we have 64,000 networks, and we have 64,000 hosts in every network. Okay. Now let me uh, let me uh, tell this again. In class B. The IP address is starting from sorry. This is still not exactly two to the power sixteen. Uh, let me uh, repeat again. In class B, two bits are fixed. Two bits are fixed. That means out of the first sixteen bits, the first two bits are one zero, which are fixed, and the remaining fourteen bits, and the remaining fourteen bits can take any combination. So total sixteen bits are there for the network ID, and here total sixteen bits are there for the host ID. So we can have two raised to power fourteen networks in case of class B, where the first two bits are one zero. Now, if you represent this by dotted decimal representation, then can you tell can you tell uh, what I what class is it is? For example, let us suppose if I give you an IP address like this, it is sixty four plus dot one twenty eight dot fifty four dot ninety six. Can you tell me what IP address? This IP address belong to which class? Is it a class A IP address? Is it a class B IP address? Is it a class C IP address? Or is is it a class D IP address? Okay, so we can we 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 can identify that by using the first octet. That is here the first octet is representing sixty four. Now you come back to the class A. Then class A, you know that out of the first eight bits, the first bit is fixed as zero, and the ne next seven bits can take any combination. Then what are the different combinations which are possible? So with this, you can see. With this, the first combination can be zero, 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 zero. The octet can take eight zeros. Next combination can be zero, 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 one. Next combination can be zero, 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 zero. Zero zero one zero up to so on zero 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 one 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 one. That means the first is representing zero, second number is representing one, third number is representing two, up to so on the last number is representing one hundred twenty seven. Last number is representing one hundred twenty seven. That means what do I mean to say by this is 
every IP address will be represented in dotted decimal representation. Dotted decimal that is octet of 8 bits. Octet of the octet itself is representing 8 bits. But uh, all these 32 bits we are going to represent in four uh, four octets, and every octet is going to contain 8 bits. So total we will be having 32 bits. In case of class A, in the first octet, in the first octet, for example, the complete IP address can, can be like this: 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, dot 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, dot 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, dot 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, like this. This can be 32 bit. In this 32 bit, if the first bit is fixed as 0, that means this IP address belong to the class A. Now, if the first bit is fixed at 0, then the first octet, this complete first octet, will be having a value between 0 to 127. 0 to 127. The first value can be 0 and the last value can be 127. So, all if if in an IP address, the, uh, the first octet is representing a value between 0 to 127, that means the IP address belong to the class A. So, here the IP address is 64.128.54.96. In this complete IP address, the first bit is uh, the first uh, octet is representing 64 and this 64 belongs between 0 to 127 therefore this IP address is, uh, is there for the class A this IP address belong to the class A now if you discuss about the class B IP address in case of class B IP address the first two bits are fixed as uh, 10 and the next rest 6 in the first octet the rest 6 bits can take any combination see there are two things one I am saying that this is representing a network ID. That means first 16 bits are representing a network ID and here the first 8 bits are representing a network ID. Network ID is different and octet is different. Octet is just the combination of 8 bits. So uh, we represent the complete IP address with a combination of 8 bits. Now if you have an IP address like this, if you have an IP address like this, 10111100.1111. One one zero zero dot one zero one 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 zero dot one 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 zero 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 zero. Now in this complete IP address, the first two bits, the first two bits, they are fixed as one zero. The first two bits are fixed as one zero because the first two bits are fixed as one zero. Therefore, this IP address belongs to the class B. This IP address belongs to class B and this IP address can have some value and what are those values that means what are the values which this IP address can take what are the possible values which this first octet can take which this first octet can take what are the values the first octet can take so in this first octet can take a value which is 10000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, to 10000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 to up to so on 10 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 it is representing a value 128 it is representing value 129 and this one is representing a value which is 191 which is 191 so if an IP address the first octet of an IP address is like this 129 126.122.234 now here the first octet is representing a value which is 129 and this 129 belongs between 128 to 191 therefore this IP address is in class B. That means in case of class A the first octet will be having a value between 0 to 127. In class B the first octet will be having a value 128 to 2, 1, 128 to 191. Right? Now again in case of class C we can find this kind of value that, that we will be finding in the next video. Okay, So as of now just remember that if the first octet is having a value between uh, 128 to 191 that means it is a class B IP address. Okay, So let us continue with the next video.